This week's card is a Christmas card. Never too early to start Christmas cards. And as you can see, there are some die cuts on here, some specialty papers, as well as some sparkle. Here is the inside. And this is coming mostly from the Eggnog Artful Card Kit. Alright, so I'll show you what I've used and then we'll get started. I'm using the Eggnog Artful Card Kit. And just a sneak peek at that. We have some really pretty papers. Lots of designs look like we're inspired by knit cozy Christmas sweaters. There's this sheet of cutout greetings and labels. And of course we have our sheets of die cuts. So that's the Eggnog Artful Card Kit. Matching ribbons of course. Two sheets of the suede paper. Black and forest. And two sheets of Dazzle Jewels. And these are in red and black. And they're both, the red is holographic so it's very sparkly as you can see. The black is glitter. So it's also sparkly, it's kind of a, a bit of a more subtle sparkle. The black is rimmed in gold, in uh, silver, and the red is rimmed in gold. Um, they each have 540 circles on here, so you probably won't run out very quick. All right, so let's get started on the cart. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this sheet of paper and this oval die cut. I'm going to turn the sheet over, and I'm going to make sure I work in the green Oliver Snowflake pattern area. Go ahead and turn my shape over and I'm going to take a pencil and trace around my whole shape. And now I will just cut out just inside this line and I'm going to end up backing the frame with the oval. So here's my shape and I've applied some glue stick around the outside of this and it should fit right on there. There we go. Now I've got this pretty uh, tree die cut but what I want to do is make a fuzzy green tree so I'm going to once again go to the back of my forest suede paper trace this tree on and simply cut it out alright so there we go so I've cut a second Christmas tree I'm setting both of those aside for now and this is my blank card and it is five inches by six and a half inches I've got the fold here on the left so it is going to be a vertical card I've already cut a piece of this tan and beige snowflake pattern to exactly fit the front of my card but I haven't glued it on yet and uh, the reason being is I'm, I want to add some ribbon and tuck it behind this paper before I glue it on so I've cut a small strip of the Oliver Stripe paper. This is about an inch and a quarter wide. That's going to get glued along here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down and then just trim off the excess. This is the die cut that I'm going to end up gluing my greeting to. That's going to go in the bottom right corner. But first I want to attach ribbons. So I'm going to go ahead and thread these ribbons through this knot through this hole and I want to kind of separate them I want the ribbons attached to the back of the card so kind of folded around okay so what I've done so far is foam taped this tag to the bottom right hand corner it looks like about a half inch above the bottom edge and now I'm going to take my Zots and they're on this roll right here and I'm going to stick the ribbon down. So I'm going to stick the Zot to the ribbon first and then peel off the Zot so that's all sticky. And that's going to get 
stuck down right there. And the same with the black. And then after I do that, I'm going to fold these back around to the back of the piece of paper and zot those down as well. And then just repeat with the other two ends. Okay, so I'm done with this little corner. I'll show you the back so those ends are stuck down. Now I'm going to just take glue stick and glue this whole thing right to the front of my card. Okay, so I've got my two forest green trees. I've got my die cut here with the green paper backing and this is how it's gonna go on the card on a Christmas tree right about there one's gonna go off the card so it's gonna end up being kinda trimmed off and the other die cut I'm using is this beautiful reindeer and he's gonna go right in the center of that oval frame so right about there so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. Now don't worry about his feet. I'm going to end up putting the greeting over oops, over the feet like that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue slash foam tape these down. I think I'm going to foam tape this guy down um, and glue these. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got that all arranged. Now I'm just gluing on my greeting here in the bottom right. And it's going right over the reindeer's hooves. So, right about there. Okay, so the front of the card is pretty much put together, and now all I have to do is jazz it up with some of the dazzles. Alright, so here is the result. I added some jewel dazzles on the trees and also on this little design on the reindeer and also on the ribbon so let me give you a close-up of that here we go gives it a little shine and shimmer all right now for the inside okay so for the inside what i've done here is i've covered the whole piece with this red snowflake and then these borders are come from one piece. Um, it's a longer border that comes out of the die cuts. This snowflake was actually cut in half and glued top and bottom. The black is the suede fuzzy paper. And these little groupings of three little sparkly dots are the dazzles. For the greeting, it's I've used the same sheet of the cutout greetings. I've matted it on the green suede paper, again on the black suede paper. And on the black border, what I've done is alternated red and black jewel dazzles, just for a special look. And then finally, I've zotted on this little red bow. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this card. Stay tuned for the bundle. And I will see you again next week. Have a great day. First in today's bundle, we have the Eggnog Artful Card Kit. And it has 100 pieces total, including die cuts, cutouts, and custom papers. On the back, you'll see a picture of each of the papers and die cuts. As well as some crafting ideas. Card making ideas. Let's go through the papers. Here's the first one. It's a really pretty tree and sweater kind of design stripes across the bottom. And we have some pretty all over Christmassy red. Some snowflakes. Black and white. And the red and white. I love how this all looks so cozy like a knit sweater and there's the stripe those are the papers and then we also have a sheet of cutouts so you will have to cut these out yourself but they're all pretty much straight lines so it's not that hard um, the blank ones are for you to customize with your own greeting and then they also provide some ready-made greetings as well here are the die cuts and they're pretty thick cardstock weight 
and they punch out and you can stamp or write on these with a permanent pen or you can print on them if you have a laser printer they, have, they work the best the best with laser there's a first sheet and they all have different sizes and shapes as well as borders as you can see so some labels frames um, this one happens to punch out so you can use a frame separately from the Christmas tree inside and just little pieces of artwork. There's also two sheets of the suede paper and my camera has adjusted so it's super bright. Let's see if I can adjust it down. So it's the green and the black, forest green. And then the satin ribbon set that goes with the eggnog artful card kit perfectly match with the colors and two sheets of dazzles now mine is missing a few so just ignore that they're the red jewel dazzles and the black jewel dazzles and the black is actually sparkly if you can kind of tell it's got a glitter finish with a silver rim well, the red ones have a gold rim so those are all the components of this week's bundle hope you guys enjoy thanks again for watching and i'll see you again next week